Natural Brown Prom Queen by Sedan Archives. 18 mm-hmm. songs, 53 minutes long. Sedan Archives has been always mixing around like neo pop, also known as R&B, um, <clears throat> rap, soul, uh, violin, <laughs> which has always been kind of fun. And through Natural Brown Prom Queen, you kind of get a lot of the best implementation of all of that. There's some really interesting songs on here. And for a second album, uh, I think that there's a lot on here that really shines. It's a really good listen. I don't yeah. love everything on here, but even the stuff I don't love on here, it's not like it's bad. It's just like a, there are other stuff on here that shines. I just wish that other things kind of met up to that quality. Um, sounds like filler. It's not quite. We hit this point a lot of times on reviews where we, yeah, we just realize oh no this artist is really really hitting uh why be not better so we're gonna have to really like definitely not better yeah we're, we're gonna have to actually oh this is a really good kid we're gonna have to break out the advanced placement chart because we're actually gonna have to pay attention to them and actually grade them this time uh so yeah that's kind of saying this is really really high up there as far as quality um so yeah let's get into it i think homemaker of all the three album intros Ooh. we've done this year Great. i mean done this week no no contest but like yeah greatest it's really really good open i love it it's that beautiful neo pop just gets that flow going you hear it you just want to move you're on a bop it's beautiful beautiful opening track really like it yeah and then the rest of the songs are like the rest of songs but also like two three four nbpq is this real is kind of like an interlude thing and then ciara they really kind of take you into a couple of different blends and a couple of different of ways in which Sudan Archives is going to present the album to you. I really loved Selfish Soul the most um, on the record here. It's one of the lead singles. And it, track. Yeah, it, it sounds really almost like, dare I say, like it could be a Beyonce track just in production. It sounds like really loud. It has like a lot of yeah. clapping behind it. Like yeah. it just... Like it really makes use of 808s in a way that a lot of music is doing where it's kind of subtracting sound to give production to it. Really, the production on here is top notch and it sings on songs like Self or Soul. And then right after that, you have Loyal EDD, which I love the first lyrics to it. It's like instead of contrasting like a woman who's super loyal to a man or something, it's a woman who's super loyal to her unemployment benefits because she has freedom yeah. from that. It's wild. It's hilarious. I love yeah. that. And then, oh, the track I like a lot of Selfish Soul is amazing. I love it. I love the, the echoing that you get in the vocals. And I actually think that's a really good comparison. Like, it could, it sounds like a Beyonce track in the way, like the way her vocals shine and whatnot with it. She mixes this, mixes spoken word with singing and all of that and just blends it perfectly. It's an amazing track. I really, really like it. I was fairly impressed when I heard that track. Yeah, the loyal is hilarious. Like after you get selfish, so you get the loyal, and it's you get funny. Then you get oh, uh, oh my god, Brit, and then you get her going hard in the paint with trap, and I yeah. love that track. It actually um, reminds me of some of like some early like SoundCloud rap and whatnot that you get at the beginning, where it's just like it's that slow build, like almost Kenny Beats style with the build, and then it just explodes in your face with it, and I love it. Yeah, and that's what I like about this record is it has so much layer, so many layers to it. It's it's not on one theme at all. It's it just blends a bunch of different genres. It goes through a lot of different metamorphoses throughout the record. So I don't mind that it's long, like it's eighteen songs, fifty three minutes, which is long for a record um, in twenty twenty two. But with the amount of sounds, the amount of production quality and stuff that you get throughout the record, it almost needs to be that long to get the whole idea, the whole project out. Because if she stopped at like flu or or TDLY, like the 12th song, it would feel unfinished and feel like a collection of songs. But the fact that it keeps building and keeps growing towards the end, it makes it flow a lot better. And it didn't even feel that long, I was, I, even after my second and third listen of the record. Um, it's just a, it made a, a very, very good project. But we'll keep going into it. Yeah. Um, TDLY felt like it was combining, like, again, Certain things you were seeing from 2000s alternative rap and rock, almost like outcast even, with mm-hmm. modern elements like drill, but then there's trumpets and like 
singing and like it's just like it's a phenomenal song and this is just i i I come to this moment a lot on audio face as well where i review an album that makes me look at another album i reviewed recently and i've gone why are you like holding up the entire pack right now like how do these artists even get to release music in the same era i mean it's fine like this is how artists rise to the top. This is how artists get recognition and respect and praise, even if they don't have like streaming numbers to their name. This is just objectively higher quality music than um, other artists that get those streaming numbers to their name. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And it's just, it's creative. It's personable. It flows through. It's a record. It flows. It's, you know, an entire well thought out project. And, it blends so many different genres that we love, but we've had a lot of issues with artists making it. So example, like Neopop, like a lot of the time, a lot, a lot of the Neopop records are, they're starting to get too funky. They're starting to get like, starting to sound a little too samey, samey here or there. We're like, okay, we want to have different ideas with it. And the thing with this is she does that. She goes and blends so many different genres together. So that way you're not always getting the same thing. Example, like you go from TDLY, then you have an interlude of Do Your Thing, and then you have uh, Freakalyzer, which is a hilarious track. Mm -hmm. But again, like the way that those two tracks are completely different, but the way that they're brought in together with that interlude, it makes it work. And they still fit together in that way. Um, And even though you have tracks like that, Freakalyzer and Oh My God, Brit, which are totally two different tracks, they fit so well on this project, on the whole record. So... It's just another testament to Sedan Archives, like the ability to make it through. And the fact that it's a second record is extremely impressive. Yeah. There are certain execution things that weren't my favorite. Like I didn't like Frequalizer. I mean, you go through the lyrics of it. It's just like rhyming Frequalizer, Tranquilizer a bunch of times. It's sort of like, okay, sure. I get it. Kind of gets old to me at a certain point. Um, And then... Yeah, I think OMG Brit was actually like a turnaround, like really good execution of like that kind of song. If anything, I wish or could challenge her to do something like more hyper poppy in that sense. That's like within her idea of ways of doing things. But that just seems like a very like in your face style song that could use that sort of even Sophia style layering. That just like a minor suggestion here or there. But like I'm in nitpick territory at this point. It's a pretty good record all around. Highly recommend it. Um, One of those sleeper records I love to get and I go, oh my God, I'm just like last week. I'm impressed and i love that yeah arbitrary scale this is our um (laughs) uh adam levine sex this is my holy fucking fuck that body of yours is absurd damn it that's what's gonna do too (laughs) (laughs) you always hold your fire and say that you're best for uh lately the last album has been the better one but you know you no, know, this isn't. This is allegedly naming wanting to name your unborn child after the your mistress. <laughs> Find God, Adam Levine. <laughs> Adam Levine needs to go to church. Like he needs to have like holy water poured on him by the Pope. He needs to be waterboarded by the Pope, man. <laughs> like horny <laughs> jail. Repent, repent, repent. 